What can you get for $150 million? A stunningly refurbished hospital building filled with a hotel and a 10,000 square foot food hall. Dr. Murphy's Food Hall contains a dozen vendors, all curated by chef Akhtar Nawab, a New Yorker who has assembled an impressive collection, including Taqueria Harabe for starters, where they're making their tortillas from scratch for an assortment of freshly made tacos. They actually had a fire in their original location not long ago, so when we met, timing was really good and we were actually able to offer them a vented stall. Local roaster Passion House handles the espresso polling and coffee drinks, while the Brecky and Bake Shop is a welcome sight to anyone in scrubs looking for something better than a vending machine around sunrise with its hearty sandwiches and protein and grain filled breakfast bowls. Otto Bogato has gas-fired pizzas baked on stone decks with appropriately crispy crusts, while Lexington Betty Smokehouse brings its barbecue directly from the west side, not only tips and links, but juicy smoked brisket and pulled pork as well. Two concepts with roots in Omaha have also branched out here, Maharani with its straightforward northern Indian and Kathmandu Momo Station. It's a Nepalese dumpling concept as well as uh, in Indian concept. Both of them have strong connections with Chicago, so in both cases, 50% of the ownership that's relocated here to actually create these concepts. You can get a watermelon margarita to go from the bar, which stays open a little later than the food stalls, but don't miss the red hot tamales from Wicker Park's Delta. Here they have Lil Delta with their brisket stuffed red hots, or in a nod to the south side, a Jim Shoe lamb and beef tamale covered in house-made pastrami with jardinera and provolone. Evanston's Viet Nam Nam is proudly serving its Asian rice bowls, banh mi sandwiches, and Vietnamese iced coffee. And for dessert, two options, a new concept called Crockett Cookies, or a selection of pies and cobblers from Classic Cobbler, ironically, the first cart you see when you enter the space. So we have this great opportunity to work with her to show off this amazing homemade delicious cobbler and pies that she makes. Nawab says interest from the nearby medical workers has been strong out of the gate, and now they find themselves in a unique position. As we started to kind of find our way, we actually have a waiting list of vendors who want to get in now. Now, unlike a lot of the other food halls in town, Dr. Murphy's is open every day from 6.30 in the morning until 9 o'clock at night. That's obviously to accommodate all the nearby hospital workers. In the Illinois Medical District, Steve Belinsky, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.